Here in this video we will showcase the 20 biggest battleships and battle stations of the Imperium of Man in the Grim Dark. There will be other videos on the Grand Cruisers, Battle Cruisers and also frigates as well as destroyers and transports. So let's get to this video on the battleships and battle stations. Let's get to it. At number 20 we have the Ramily Starfort. These are colossal semi-mobile space fortresses. These vital structures serve as forward fleet bases, strategically shortening campaigns by decades. Divided into four quadrants of their design, each with their own void shield emitters and unlimited torpedo arsenal, the Ramley Starfort combines immense size, defensive capabilities and warp travel, providing the Imperium with a formidable advantage in their forward battle lines. Number 19. The Invincible Class Fast Battleship this is a rare type of Imperial battleship which combines the mass and the size as well as weaponry of a battleship with the speed and agility of a light cruiser. This vessel was designed to hunt Chaos and Eldar Corsair Raiders. Although proved to be very successful as anti-piracy tools, they were however not so good as Lion battleships due to their poor protection. Number 18. The Vanquisher Class Battleship these rare and ancient battleships, their origins can be traced back to the 31st millennium. At the present time, there are only four of these that are operated by the Imperium. Due to their old age, most of their weapons and armor is now being stripped off and replaced with newer and reliable ones. Number 17. The Retribution Class Battleship This ship of the line is known for its armored prow, allowing it to charge headfirst into the enemy fleets. Virtually immune to anything but the most powerful attacks, it matches the speed of the Imperial Fleet's main cruisers, providing crucial support in fleet engagements. Its primary firepower consists of numerous weapon batteries lining its sides, capable of unleashing devastating barrages over long distances. Number 16. The Victory Class Battleship This ship is an extensively altered version of the Retribution Class, sharing a striking resemblance to its predecessor in terms of its internal arrangement and weaponry. However, a notable distinction lies in the significant inclusion of a land system and the replacement of the Retribution's abundant weapon batteries and torpedoes with a Nova Cannon. Number 15. The Legatus Class Battle Barge The Legate or the Legatus Battle Barge is a massive warship used by the Space Marine chapters. It is over 8.5 kilometers long and is heavily armed as well as armored. A battle barge is essentially one of the Imperium of Man's most powerful starships, easily comparable in capability to a grand cruiser or even a large battleship when the additional might of its space marines are factored in. Number 14. The Oberon Class Battleship While not as heavily armed as the Retribution or possessing as many void crafts or assault crafts as the Emperor or the Nemesis, the Oberon is more of a jack of all trades, having both firepower and void crafts. It is an early variant of the Emperor, so it does have a similar design. It has a versatile array of weaponry that enables it to effectively handle various threats, eliminating the need for a typical complement of escorts to provide protection. Number 13. The Apocalypse Class Battleship As a warship armed primarily with lances, this holds a unique place within the Navy. It stands among the few battleships equipped with a Nova Cannon. The construction technology employed to create numerous lance turrets aboard these vessels has been lost to time, leading to a gradual decline in their numbers. These ancient starships approach the upper limit of the ship size seen during the pre-Horus Heresy era, measuring about 10 to 12 kilometers in length. Number 12. The Emperor Class Battleship This is the main battleship type of the Imperium alongside the Retribution Class. They are also one of the oldest designs which are still in use as of the 41st and 42nd millennium. Although it is outfitted with deadly weapons all around its body that can destroy cities, the Emperor's main attack mode is to act like an aircraft carrier, dispensing several attack crafts and also those sharp assault boats against far-off targets. It is also known to ram enemy ships in certain occasions. The Nemesis Class Fleet Carrier these are essentially modified Emperor class battleships redesigned to send out more void crafts against enemies, but for this, it has to sacrifice its firepower which means it has to rely on ship escorts to provide it with protection, therefore it is only seen in large fleets which can provide it with cover fire as it sends out fighters and assault crafts against far off targets. Number 10. The Arc Mechanicus Starship Stated to be as wide as a Dominator class cruiser which is around 5 kilometers long, this therefore puts the length of the Arc Mechanicus at between 15 to 20 kilometers long. This type of vessel is equipped with a Nova Cannon, 4 lance batteries and more. The extreme mass of these vessels create a distorted gravity field equivalent of that of an unstable moon. 
Their hulls possess entire self-sustaining manufacturing ecosystems, factories and all. Number 9. The Gloriana Class Battleship This is a colossal type of battleship commissioned during the peak of the Great Crusade. It is believed that the ancient Imperium planned to construct a minimum of 20 of these impressive battleships, with each ship being distinct in design and weaponry. In the era of the Great Crusade, every Space Marine Legion obtained at least one of these vessels, which ultimately became the flagship of the Legion, commanded by their respective Primarch. Number 8. The Raptorus Rex this is a massive star fortress utilized by the Firehawk Space Marine chapter before its disappearance into the warp, acting out as their primary mobile stronghold and base of operations. This colossal war machine possesses immense destructive capabilities, able to swiftly devastate the surface of a planet and also engage an entire squadron of cruisers at the same time. Number 7. The Macrox Honor and also the Invincible Reason These are immense void vessels Part of the Gloriana class type of battleships, they were constructed as the second largest and the largest warship of their category in the Great Crusade era. They actively participated in the conflicts of the Horus Heresy and the Great Scouring. To this day, they remain as the largest battleships serving the Imperium of Man. With a length of 26 kilometers, the Macrox Honor is the second largest among the Gloriana battleships, second only to the Invincible Reason, which is 28 kilometers. Number 6. The Bucephalus Flagship This functioned as the Emperor's majestic golden esteemed personal flagship during the Great Crusade. The Bucephalus, an immense masterpiece of martial craftsmanship, possessed such colossal dimensions that it generated its own gravitational force. Within its vast confines, a garrison of custodians are stationed, ready to fulfill their duties. Number 5. The Rock The Tower of Angels Angelicaster this is the mobile space fortress and the home base of the Dark Angels. It is essentially the only remaining chunk of their homeworld of Caliban. It was outfitted with the most advanced Imperial technology, including a massive warp drive, gravity generators, and void shields as well as all sorts of weapons that the Dark Angels possess, many of which are classified technology from humanity's past. It is bigger than most ships of the Imperium. Number 4. The Imperator Somnium this ship stands apart as a unique colossal spacecraft crafted from golden materials, some surpassing even the size and armament of battleships. This extraordinary marvel of technology was constructed utilizing the enigmatic knowledge acquired during Terra's Dark Age of Technology. Equipped with formidable weaponry such as Volkite Storm Accelerators, Nova Cannons and Rat Fusion Warheads, this vessel was one of a kind, boasted advanced automation for various operational tasks and was one of the flagships of the Emperor. Number 3. The Gallatin Starfort This massive starfort tasked with safeguarding the trade routes within the realm of Ultramar stands as one of the most prominent fortifications of the Ultramarines. Stretching across 100 kilometers, Gallatin boasts shipyards that even rival that of Luna in scale. Its armament is rumored to match that of an entire sector battle fleet, while its defense garrison includes tens of thousands of Ultramar auxiliary troops and hundreds of space marines. Number 2. The Phalanx one of the largest starships ever constructed by humanity, no doubtly one of the largest and maybe even the biggest, this is a colossal entity not witnessed since the age of technology. Its immense size rivals that of a small moon or a large asteroid, capable of accommodating a dozen Imperial Navy cruisers. The phalanx resembles a hive city in space, adorned with towering spires reaching towards the stars. It stands as a remarkable feat of engineering, approaching the scale and intricacy of the Eldari craft worlds. And number 1. The Speranza Arc Mechanicus This colossal void craft, comparable in size to a small continent, possessing characteristics that transform it into a mobile forge world rather than a mere starship. Within its vast expanse resides an ancient machine spirit of remarkable advancement, surpassing its counterparts of other Arc Mechanicus. Originating from a time preceding the era of the Men of Iron, it was crafted by the enigmatic Men of Gold. It is now the biggest ship of the Imperium and the biggest Arc as well. So those are the 20 biggest Imperial battleships and battle stations. Anyway, I hope you have enjoyed watching this video. Do hit that like button for support and subscribe to push us through the YouTube algorithm. But most of all, smash that bell icon for regular updates on new videos right here on this channel. Take care, boys.